Welcome back. A teddy bear-like tree dweller has become the world's newest mammal. It lives in a place called the Cloud Forest in the Andes Mountains of South America. As Eric Sorensen reports, though it has just been identified, it may already be at risk. How was something so cute not discovered before now? The Olenguito is a little over two feet long and half of that is tail. You have not ever seen an animal anything quite like this. So rare that at today's announcement at the Smithsonian, the only moving video of an Olenguito was this. Even slow-mo doesn't help much. The Olenguito lives on a tiny sliver of the planet, found only in the mountains of Colombia and Ecuador, a region called the Cloud Forest, a unique high-elevation habitat in the Andes where Olenguitos live up in the trees of the lush forests. It's part of the raccoon family. In fact, DNA tests later showed one Olenguito hid in plain sight for years at Washington's National Zoo, but was misidentified as the more common Olingo. But Olenguito is distinct, the first new carnivore found in the Western Hemisphere in 35 years. The Olenguito, it's small, it's not very really hunted very much, uh, and it's just up in the trees. And because no one's had much of a chance to take a closer look, uh, no one's uh, really understood what this animal is. Smithsonian scientists say as fully explored as the Earth is, even more spectacular discoveries in the animal world will be identified in the years ahead. The irony is, as more rare species are discovered, some of the rarest, such as the greater bamboo lemur, face extinction. Scientists who've spent years tracking the two-pound Olenguito say 40% of its habitat has already been taken over by human development. We know so little about the richness and diversity of life, but that's what makes our planet tick. And there's lots of, lots of reasons to want to uh, discover these and get them on the map uh, before they're lost. The Olenguito has been described as a cross between a cat and a teddy bear. They won't be domesticated anytime soon. They were made at a toy factory in South America. They're not but you can already imagine the commercial possibilities. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Washington.